Hello, I'm Super Wild Luigi, and welcome back to Super Construction here in the Nintendo World Park. Um, so, last time, whoop, we built the laundry pool, or the beginnings of the laundry pool. Um, and as you can see, yeah, everybody's flocking to it. Um, as I opened up this save file today, there was literally no one here. It kind of still is. Uh, a bit of a ghost town, I mean, especially down here. Um, there really isn't anybody. Uh, everyone's just been drawn over to uh, to the laundry pool. But today, uh, had another stroke of genius. Um, we are going to continue building the laundry pool. Um, I will talk you through what I'm thinking in a moment. Um, but just quickly, first, uh, did hire a couple of more... Uh, janitors and handymen off screen, so if you'd like to name those, um, and the park inspector, we could in even in, uh, name the park inspector, if you could suggest names for those guys, that would be great. But today, what I was thinking is if we head into the pool construction, um, no, it might be in water rides, here we go, a lazy river. Now, here's the thing. I was thinking, since this is the laundry pool, and sort of the water-based area, if we build a lazy river that kind of goes around and outside this area, and it could be the, uh, this bit down here could be the Southern Swamp from uh, Majora's Mask, and you could just have a lazy river going through the Southern Swamp. So, uh, that is the plan for today. Um, don't know what we'll build after that. But yeah, uh, this will be a speed build, uh, so I will talk to you in a moment. Thank you, past me. Um, so yes, just building this uh, this lazy river um, that will head outside of Clock Town. Um, and uh, we'll see a bit of the pool in a moment. Um, I realise now that this is uh, probably going to be one of the shorter parts of the series. Um, because I, I can't really, when I'm making it, I can't really think too far ahead. And plus, um, the speed builds do reduce about an hour's work down to, uh, ten minutes. But, um, that's okay. Um, so we're just, uh, going outside and trying to make it all twisty and turny and interesting. Uh, and then we fill it up with, uh, uh, scenery. Mainly trees, uh, later. Um... But uh, we also have um, a kind of a secret pool area, uh, which we'll see in a moment. Just building another station there so people can get off. And then we uh, it's just a simple little trek back into the station there. Um, so yeah, thinking about the rest of the series, or rather the rest of building in uh, Terminal or Clock Town. Um, just really need you guys' help to uh, think about a roller coaster towards the back there, because I've been putting it off for a while now. Um, because I realise now how compact I make things, so everything's uh, pretty crammed in at the front of the uh, front of the entrance to Termina here. Um, as you can see, just quickly there. So uh, I would like uh, some help with suggesting a roller coaster for the back there. Um, because uh, I'll say towards the end of this video, um, when I throw it back to past me again, um, that uh, we will probably head over to the uh, other areas, rather, or rather the Mushroom Kingdom area, uh, in a couple of parts time. Um, so now we're just putting in some of the foliage uh, around the Lazy River. I uh, started using those oak trees there because they're the biggest uh, biggest trees available. Um, but uh, they do have a rather wide uh, negative space around them, as in I can't actually build in between them if I uh, put them too close together. Um, so some of those do go later, um, just trying to fill in those small gaps with smaller trees. Um, and those ferns, the uh, just called fern or bush one and two, they're very very useful because they can, because uh, their spread is so wide and 
their building base. So the little, um, if you look towards the bottom of the scenery items there with the uh, blue and red little square, because they uh, they spread further across that square, they can interlink and um, sort of clip into each other. So it makes it look all dense and bushy and um, really quite look good looking. And then those mangrove trees are nice and small, but they again they also um, they also have that spread across the top of the trees. So we're just trying to make it look swampy and dense and very natural looking, I, I suppose. Um, which is most of what uh, what Sand Swamp looks like, um, but I mainly was conscious about trying to hide that area from the rest of the park, because um, the uh, sort of main street will continue all the way up towards the back of the park, where the space area or what other area will be. Um, so I just kind of wanted to make a little little hidden alcove that you could only reach by the um, lazy river there. I'm sure that's probably going to cause some problems actually. Because if you remember in the Nintendo Land Park, um, guests were continuously getting lost and couldn't figure out a way to uh, true traverse the park. And so I imagine this time that uh, guests will get stuck in that pool, not wanting to go on the lazy river and, uh, and uh, just complain there. Uh, so now we're just... Um, I remembered at this point, um, sort of the big idea around this would be to have it not floating, but look like it was on top of a uh, body of water to make it look all swampy. Not kind of like an infinity pool, but not quite. So as you can see there, there's uh, there's some of that water. Um, had to get rid of some of those trees that I had placed down beforehand, um, and I'm still not. I'm I'm would say I'm relatively new to. Um, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, so I haven't actually used these kind of terrain tools before, so that's why that section there is so deep. Um, yeah, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and the first one actually, probably what I'm uh, more skilled in. Um, but there you go, there, that's just a little uh, look at how it looks so far on the, on the water there. Um, we'll probably do some more um, later on, because Mostly to do with terrain painting, because at the moment it's literally just grass under there, so we kind of need to make it look a little bit more swampy. Um, I think there might be some sort of lily pad scenery that you could place on top of the water, um, which would look good. Um, but now we're just putting some more of those pool accessories. Um, those are just some of the lights. Put in a lifeguard and some um, uh, sun loungers and other stuff like that. Um, but yeah, these uh, the the park guests. I I don't know what's with Roller Coaster Tycoon Three, but they literally go mental for for pools. They um, don't go anywhere else. Uh, I think at this point in time we're at about seven hundred guests, and that's only for one area of the park, which is quite impressive. Um, I imagine once it's been fully filled up, we'll be up to something like. I don't know, three, four thousand park guests or something like that. But um, just doing a little entrance uh, or gateway um, marking where the uh, Lazy River goes out and enters back into Clock Town. Uh, and then the lights look quite nice there. It makes it look quite ambient. Um, might need to fix the lights in the main pool because uh, they're a little bit janky. And then we're just finishing up here doing a little um, plaza area. Um, before you enter the swimming pool. Looking for a nice little fountain there. There you go, there's a fountain of a lady pouring water out. Kind of kind of marks uh, marks an entrance to the laundry pool. Um, getting in some bins and some benches and some lights because uh, this area is quite dark at the moment. And then we get in some, uh, some more stools here. Um, so there you go, yes, that's uh, some of the... Uh, how, how uh, it looks at the moment. And I'll uh, throw it back to past me now. Okay, I think that is done. Yes, so we have the um, well, the Southern Swamp now. Uh, another little pool complex. 
Apparently that says it is closed somehow. Uh, I don't know why it says it's closed because people are swimming in it. So that's interesting. But yes, uh, so we've got the um, bit of a swampy area. Um, as you saw in the speed build there, I did uh, start deleting some trees just because I had just remembered how to... Uh, what I needed to do here. So yep, yeah, we got like a pool on top of a little swampy thing and the only way you can get to it is through this lazy river which is all forested um, forested up and uh, you can imagine just going along and like seeing some sort of Zelda related scenery um, oh that guy's swimming the wrong way um, like, I don't know, like you can see Deku scrubs amongst the trees, that sort of thing uh, and then you eventually end up in another pool, um, kind of like a, not necessarily a secret pool, although I did uh, consciously decide to uh, try and block the view off from here so you can't really see it when you come through. Okay, that idea didn't really <laughs> work out. But yeah, I think that might do it for today. Day, uh, on the building front uh, also just made sort of this little plaza area uh, before you go in um, so we've got shops here we got the toilets the swimsuit stall the sun cream stall and the inflatable stall all of those need a name um, as well uh, but yeah I think that should do it for this part uh, keep suggesting rides scenery and uh, area ideas I think we'll probably do uh, some sort of slide for the for the water park area uh, next time and then um, probably after that we'll uh, continue on back and then Termina or rather Clock Town should be uh, done we might move over to the Mushroom Kingdom area after that uh, just to jazz things up a bit um, so yeah there we go thanks for watching bye